Welcome back. The last activity in this lab is a real life application. I'm not going to give you all of the information to copy and paste off of the lab website. Instead, we have to use information from Nextcloud Docker to configure the service as we want. All of the commands are here. This is the one that we used, but we don't want to use Docker Run. We want to use Docker Compose because we want to add Redis to it, for example. We can either do Apache or we can do FPM, uses the Nginx. If we do FPM, we have to configure additional services. So let's just do Apache, it's easier. But first of all, we need to uh, delete Nextcloud instance that we installed using Docker Run. So Docker PS, so we want to stop it. Docker stop. And we can either do it by name or by container ID. Both work the same. Stopping it doesn't remove it. It just turns the container into standby, essentially. We can't access it. It's disabled, but it still exists. So if we can find it here, it's exited. We want to remove it altogether, destroy it. This means that any data that we had in it is gone. We won't ever recover it again. So first of all, we need to create a new folder for the data. So we want to call it uh, next cloud docker. Right now it's empty, but we can create our file using touch if we want. Docker compose.yml yaml. And then I can find it here. It's empty. So what do we want in our Docker compose yaml file? Let's go to the GitHub page from next cloud we will start with the template that they have provided us with here so we'll just copy this and paste it here now we want to use strong password here i have a favorite site that i use I like to use these ones here. I'll just click that, it copies it. And then I can come over here to the MySQL root password. And then I can grab another one for the regular MySQL password. The port, we need to change this to what is in our reverse proxy. It was 28 or 2850. But we can check this to make sure that it was indeed that. So let's see Nginx um, sites available and it was Cloud. And yes, 2850. So we're not quite done here. The database, we want it to be 
installed within the directory we have and also the next cloud volume data we want it to be stored in this same directory as well there's a lot of additional items that we can use if we wanted to for example if we wanted to connect to an email survey we will connect to this redis host we won't do it now we'll do it once it already starts and works so let's try this base package as it was and see if it will work let's put a latest tag here latest so it always gets the latest one okay now we can say docker compose up dash d we already had the image before so it didn't need to, uh, to pull it in so docker images we already have the latest next cloud and the database right there so we can try curl if we want to head http and localhost 850 but i am certain that it is going to work which it did now the next thing to do is to go to our website dashboard doesn't work yet we need to configure it and log in so it's asking us to create an admin so we'll call this uh, jj8i admin now I'm going to, to choose a strong password go back to the site so we want to use a different database instead of using SQLite. We want to use a real database. So this is fine. We'll leave that as default. Database user. Where does this come from? This is what we define in our Docker Compose YAML file. So the user is next cloud. And the database name is also next cloud. Localhost, this will not work. We need to use DB. We need to use DB because it needs to know to find it here. And then we need the password. MySQL password right here. We'll copy that. if we did everything correct it will install gateway timeout this happens because nginx has a short timeout it expected data to come back and it did not the request timed out We'll just refresh the page and it should be done. So we can log in. And it's going to finish configuring our site. So you saw how easy it was to use the docker compose file to install your own instance of nextcloud